on the side, friend. This is Mitty Man coming at you from Walker's Music. Believe it or not, I have done a whole video and didn't have not one bit of audio in it because I failed to turn my mixer on and turn my volume up on my mic. Hmm. Well, I guess that one just wasn't for y'all ear to hear. So I'm going to repeat and I'm going to read a scripture. I'm already going to read the scripture because I already done spent 15 minutes in it. We're going to come from Matthew 20 and the first verse. Matthew 20, starting the first verse, said, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that has an household, and which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour, and I saw others standing idle in the market. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. And again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour, and did likewise. And at the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and said unto them, Why stand ye here all day idle? And they say unto him, Because no man had hired us. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, that shall I re you shall receive. So when even was come, he, the Lord of the vineyard, said unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came, that, that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more. And they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying that these have wrought but one hour, and how that that made them equal to us, which have bore the burden in the heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Did not thou, did not thou agree with me for a penny? Take thine that it is, and then go thy way. I will give unto the last, even as unto thee. It is not is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is I not evil because I am good? See, so the last shall be first, and the first last, for many be called, but few chosen. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and especially the doers of his holy word. You know this is sad, people, and I believe Jesus was talking. And I know some Pharisee was a present at that time. And I believe what Jesus was speaking of right here, he was letting the Israelites know that they were, even though they were first, and they were called first, they were chosen, and they had been in the heat of the day a long time, he was letting them know that even now, the one that come to him, that he would in no wise turn away and cast out. And they would receive full wages just as they, just as they are going to receive. He had no respect to a person. You know, people, we... As human, we do have respect to a person sometimes. It may not be in a bad way, but we all have respect to a person. I'm going to reprove. I'm going to prove it. Okay, a husband and a wife. Wife can't say she treat every man the same. Do you cook for your neighbors? Husband? No, you don't. You cook for your husband, if you have one. So, are you doing the same? No, you're not treating them the same. But you can do what's right. That's what this here. Jesus said, whatever is right, that's what the good man said, I will do. So now if a person decide, if the good man of the house decided that he would want to give the one that was hired at the end of the day just as much as the one that they did at the beginning of the day, that was his prerogative. In other words, all of the, that was his money. He could do what he wanted with it. So he had already agreed, the one that started early that morning, they agreed to a penny a day. So he gave them what was just lit right. It wasn't right for them just because he gave the ones at the end of the day a penny. That the one that started at the beginning of the day, they had agreed to a penny. So that's what they got. How could they ask for a quarter if they agreed for, to a penny? He didn't do them in the wrong. That's what Jesus was saying to us people. Men are called, few are chosen. You know, it's a shame. But it is, it is a fact. God have people everywhere and then you got people that are gifted and anointed because now you can have a gift and not and lose the anointing uh that it's 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 a shame that we got some churches that are suffering 
that are doing that are that are that are losing out on on the on the various services of God in the kingdom building because of the fact that they are so stuck in tradition of having to want to have their way. Certain people in the church that want to do things the way they wanted to do it and nobody and, and, and greediness and, and, and pride holding the church back. You know it's sad. And I know I don't know it, it, it is it, it's uh it's because of mainly because of the fact that we got so much greed and selfishness. Every man for himself and woman. When I say man, I mean mankind. I don't even excluding anybody. But we it is a shame that we would let we would let any area of the of the service and the worship service of God suffer because of the fact that we are so selfish and greedy until we do not want to employ the individuals that need that could get these here various things done in our churches. From the pastors on down, musicians, ministers of music, ushers, laborers of the uh, whatever, all that it takes to run the temple and to keep God's house in order. Then we got certain people that call to be leaders in the church, call to be laymen, leaders and stuff that are supposed to see that this here stuff is done, be so fixated and dumb in their mind to allow to not employ the things that are needed. You remember Paul told Titus to go to the church in Crete and he told him to place there what is lacking. That's what that was the commandment was to put back what was lacking. Put it there. Don't go down there and act like they do, but go and place back that what was missing. That was one of the things. People when oh, I'm just praying in my prayer that hopefully in 2012 that we change the way we think when it comes to the thing of God. We 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 are we we don't have any problem when it comes to us. We need to get ourselves we self we got the light shine on us all the time. And then we got some people that I don't know, we just have to pray for them. We got to pray for our brother. Pray for them that they will change. And you know, I'm I'm especially praying for me the man that I'm hoping that I can don't get caught in the mentality of just being self selfish. Everything is about me. I wanted to get well, it don't have to be about me the man. But people, it is all about kingdom building. It is, it's all about kingdom building and about the word of God. By saving souls, letting everybody know about the love of Christ. People, with that said, me the man is going to end this video. Uh, remember the night, we got a lot of things going to be going on tonight. A lot of a lot of people going to party. Ain't no sense in denying it. Ain't no sense in acting like it's not going to happen. A lot of people going to do a lot of party tonight. And I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to drink, don't drive. And if you're going to drive, don't drink. Because remember, I always say the life you say could very well be your own. And then let's not, let's not, let's do things sensible. And let's do everything for the glory of God. If we honor God in our party, honor God in your party. And then you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. In other words, just be careful out there. With that being said, we're going to say, be the man going to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year, and we're going to do the word, the walk through the word with the meeting man tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't have anywhere to play tonight. There's no watch night at all. So with that being said, it might be a good thing because the word of God is really needed. Because a lot of times, people, when we go into a, a lot of various services, we're not getting the word. We're getting news forecasts and whatnot and about what's going on down at the Board of Education and the Senate. But people, none of that is this gospel. None of it. In other words, when this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world, then shall the end come. As far as we know it, the end of the system of these things, ushering in the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With that being said, remember, may the man say whatever you get or whatever you get into. If God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it. This is the man saying peace. Goodbye.